Hi, Danish. Hi, Mika. Hi, Madhvi. How are you? Good, good. Thanks Hi, for Martin. joining in. Red Danish, I think. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Okay, I, I think I'm going to start. Um, so first of all, thank you, Danish and Madhvi for joining us today and welcome to all the participants. Uh, today, we are going to talk about a very interesting uh, topic, which is uh, careers in accountancy. Um, as you, some of you might be aware, we, we have uh, started a bachelor in accountancy program from September uh, 2021 intake. Uh, and uh, students now have the opportunity to join the you know, accountancy bachelor's program or even do it as a double major. Uh, we also are tying up with uh, ACCA so that students who complete this program would get up to nine uh, paper exemptions and uh, they will be able to complete their ACCA qualification along with the bachelor's degree. So ACCA of course needs no introduction. It is the world's leading accountancy qualification. Uh, for financial uh, professionals. It provides students with uh, skills, knowledge, values uh, that have successful careers. And uh, also it helps in completing the ethics uh, in the financial services and professional skills module. We have with us today, uh, Danish Shamsi. He's the regional business development manager for ACCA Middle East. Uh, welcome Danish. Um, just sharing a little bit about his profile. He's a seasoned uh, corporate sales professional. He works across multiple functions, including uh, regional employer strategy. Um, he's the voice for ACCM members. He's also responsible for supporting small to medium-sized accounting practices in the region. Uh, one of his uh, core component of his role is ensuring revenue generation. He also has a strong sales background and uh, he has a strong focus on revenue underpins and result-oriented trajectory that has been one of his defining achievements since joining ACCA. Uh, Danish also manages a diverse portfolio of clients and um, you know, helps uh, in their requirements and long-term vision for the company. He also has uh, uh, insights uh, towards lo local conversations and global topics, which include sustainable finance, climate control, digital transformation, and employability. And these are all designed to drive ACCA's promise to be seen as a force for public good. Currently, he's based in uh, Dubai, and he has a passionate uh, mixed martial arts enthusiast. That's very interesting. He's also a graduate of University of Surrey and holds a bachelor's degree in economics. So that's um, uh, Danish. Uh, so again, uh, welcome. Uh, he's going to uh, you know, talk about uh, the future of accountancy with you all. We also have with us Madhuvi. Uh, who is our head of um, business school. She's going to be around here as well. Uh, if you have any questions about Murdoch, the, the business programs that we offer. So the format is that uh, Danish is going to talk about, uh, you know, this topic for about uh, 35 uh, minutes. And then we will open the floor for questions and answers. And you see a small chat box and a Q&A box at the bottom. Please feel free to put in your comments or questions. And towards the end, we will answer all your questions and any discussions that we have. So thank you again for joining today. And uh, over to you, Danish. Thank you so much, Meg. Uh, that was quite an introduction. Uh, hello, good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so just to reintroduce myself, my name is uh, Danish Shamsi, and I am the uh, Regional Business Development Manager uh, for ACCA Middle East. And uh, I'm quite privileged to be here today to talk to you all um, about what we see are the uh, accountancy careers and how they're shaping up to be in the 2020s. Uh, before we do that, I'd like to put things in context with regards to the relationship we currently have with uh, Murdoch University. Uh, so the first few slides will focus on that, and then I'll get on to uh, presenting some of the findings uh, we've done um, from our research. But uh, just to set the scene a bit about who we are, uh, who is the ACCA, 
so the ACCA stands for the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. Um, we are the world's fastest growing professional body. And uh, believe it or not, we've been around for more than 110 years. We were founded in 1904. And uh, currently we have upwards of 200,000 members, uh, 500,000 students, and we're operational in over 179 countries. Uh, like Meg mentioned, uh, I am responsible for uh, our, the employers relationships we have in the Middle East. So we have around 7,300 employers, uh, partners all around the world. Um, and there are a few entry routes into the ACCA as well. Uh, one thing that you might find interesting, uh, Murdoch University, um, being from the Asian Pacific region, uh, from, from Australia mainly, uh, is we do have a partnership with uh, CAANZ. So if you do become an ACCA member, uh, you can apply to become a member of um, CAANZ. Um, and there are various entry routes as well. So if you're a school leaver, uh, if you're a university graduate, uh, based on the university you are deciding to study with, uh, we have various routes to entry uh, into the ACCA. Currently, uh, Murdoch University is uh, undergoing its application to be accredited. And what that means is once you are accredited, we can then put all students in Murdoch University under the Accelerate program. So what is the Accelerate program? Um, it essentially adds value to the university by um, having us value your finance and accounting courses, but it also allows your students to get fast track to ACCA membership. Um, so the first step is, is that Murdoch University would have to first get accredited and then we would have to set up Accelerate and then the students would be registered. So it's very easy. We're trying to streamline everything with all the universities we work with. And this is a fast track to ACCA membership. So by the time you complete your degree, you can also be an ACCA member. And uh, here's just a bit more about our network from the education front. Uh, so in terms of the exam centers, we have over 500 uh, across the world in 150 countries almost. Um, you know, we have 261 strategic partnerships with local national bodies, um, and we have, uh, you know, more than 100 offices. Uh, so I'm currently based in the UAE in Dubai. Our office is right in front of yours, actually. I just came to learn today. So we're also based in Knowledge uh, Village. So if you do have any curiosities or if you are interested in learning more, uh, you can get in touch with Meg or you can uh, walk up to our door and, and, get, and give us a knock and we'd be happy to help. Uh, right, so now that I think the scene's been set a bit, I'd like to talk a bit more about the research we've conducted um, on how we see accounting careers shaping up in the 2020s. And what we like to do is um, have our students, our members and our affiliates be something we call future ready. So at ACCA, our research program helps build our global brand and inform developments to our qualification. Um, it's also complemented by a broader policy work and public interest and public affairs work, which helps maximize the value we can bring to our partners, students, and our members. So today I'm gonna to be presenting the findings that we have from this research. And the research draws on collective research that we've done over the past three years so this is 36 months of work, which I'm presenting to you, uh, and it's uh, issues impacting the future of the profession and the world of work. Um, we're gonna be examining key trends shaping the future of careers across the profession and how these play out. Um, one thing I wanted to start by saying is, is if there's one message I wanted everybody to take away from the session, it's the message of opportunity. So opportunity for the finance profession, opportunity for professional accountants that we might become, or opportunity for you, the students, whether you're in high school or you're just beginning your uh, graduate diploma. Um, so I'll spend the next 20 minutes or so sharing highlights that we've conducted from the research. And now we're in the decade of opportunity. So I'd just like to give uh, some focus on opportunity and give some context for our research, right? So through our global research program, we know that technology and digital developments are rapidly impacting the global economy. Digital advances particularly are transforming the very fabric of businesses and organizations. But 
there are other forces at play too. Uh, and these transform the world of work, not just in the future, but right now. Uh, these forces include globalization and protectionism, changing expectations of individuals in the workplace, uh, shifting social morals and values, new types and levels of connectivity and demographics. So in the face of all of this change, a clear imperative facing organizations is to survive and be financially sustainable in the long term. Of course, due to COVID-19, this has only accelerated, um, but there's also more scrutiny on these, on, on, on these areas. So organizations don't just have to generate sufficient financial return, but they have to be better corporate citizens as well. Sustainable businesses are, after all, the very lifeblood of a sustainable economy. And sustainable economies are the very lifeblood of a sustainable planet. So as we look forward to the next decade, we believe this imperative presents a golden opportunity for the accountancy profession and for us as professional accountants or prospective professional accountants uh, to build on its strong foundations and evolve. An opportunity to adapt and play its part in building and protecting businesses and organizations for the long term is also an opportunity to repurpose the profession for the modern world of work. So I think there's a real opportunity here uh, to transform the profession in the minds of a younger generation coming into the workplace who may not properly appreciate what a career in accountancy truly means, but who have ambitions for vocations with pur purpose. So I think that speaks right at you. Um, so now that we've given some context, uh, we kind of have an idea that opportunity is a starting point for our research. Uh, it's used to understand how we as a profession and how professional accountants in whatever sector they work in can contribute to this critical imperative. As we see a profession that can offer brilliant, exciting, and meaningful careers uh, to the future workplace who can play their part in building sustainable organizations, and how that in turn can lead uh, to a uh, prosperity, uh, to prosperity in the digital age. I mentioned in the previous slide that uh, digital advances particularly are reshaping the global economy and changing the face of today's workplace. For businesses of all sizes and across all sectors, it is transforming channels to market, changing how organizations deliver products and services, providing new opportunities to engage differently with customers and dismantling barriers to entry into markets. Disruptive competitors are appearing from nowhere and challenging long held corporate positions of market dominance. Uh, you only need to open your phone and look into the likes of Uber, Deliveroo, et cetera, to know this to be true. In the public sector too, governments around the world are facing continuing challenges from ever changing and more demanding public needs declining public trust and technological disruption. But the challenges facing businesses cannot all be solved by digital. So technology isn't the only answer we have here. These dynamics also require a refocus on the wider capabilities core to the organizations beyond digital, including of course, human capital. As organizations continue to adopt and change, we believe the profession will also have to change response. Different skills will be needed. Our research also suggests careers across the profession will continue to be evolved and jobs will be redefined as work activities quickly change and parts of jobs are reapportioned to machines or automated. This is a world of opportunity for finance professionals. The finance profession is at the forefront of machine learning, of uh, artificial intelligence and robotic process automation. There is a real sense of this feeling of change across our membership, both globally and locally. So if you look at the two charts on this slide here, uh, they tell a very simple story about how the vast majority of our members expect careers to change in the profession. Uh, they also expect this change to happen quickly over the next five years. So this is something we're talking about the short to medium term. Uh, much of this will be driven by technology, automation, and the emergence of new technologies. But we believe that this, is, this isn't a threat to finance jobs or accountancy jobs in the future, but rather an opportunity. So 
uh, this nexus of human and machine where they come together uh, will, will herald a new era of opportunity where we see a significant shift to professional accountants focused on even higher value work activities. Oh, sorry, went forward a few slides. Uh, we can expect teams across organizations to be more collaborative and probably less anchored to traditional organization structures. We also expect a more fluid working environment. That's something we're seeing uh, right now where organizations continue to change quickly uh, and break the norm of what we're used to. And uh, we also forecast that this emerging world of work uh, also demands a different mindset by individuals um, so we will have to see professionals augment uh, their skills with emerging technologies as they transition through their working lives and adapt more quickly to fast moving and multifaceted career paths. So as we know, having one job for life is now a relic for past, is now a relic of the past and uh, going to the office five days a week uh, is, is, is also very similar in that regard. So there are also many other factors impacting the future of work and particularly impacting, impacting the future of careers in accountants. So in our research, we've identified 20 trends that are shaping the work for accountants as we look forward. Now, I don't have time to go over all 20 of these, but I want to pull out a few and mention a few quickly uh, to give us a sense of some of the key drivers shaping uh, the work environment and the future of careers in the profession. So I've already mentioned automation, so you perhaps won't be surprised to see this as one of the key trends shaping our future on the slide here. Uh, there are two other things to say quickly about automation. So let's not forget that it's entirely a new phenomenon. Uh, we have had automation in the profession uh, for some time, but we are seeing the scale of automation possibilities increasing with the advent, advent particularly of robotics technologies. So for example, um, if you're working in audit, um, you know we have drones who are actually doing a lot of warehouse audit jobs, which is just mind boggling if you're you know, uh, on the outside looking in, but, but, but it's a reality. Um, we also believe this level of automation will be complemented by emerging technologies, or as we like to call it, M-Tech, uh, such as artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, and uh, natural language processing. Um, so I've al already mentioned briefly in the previous slide about the nexus of machine and human coming together um, and how that will be an opportunity. And I'll come back to that a little bit later as well. But let's pick up on some of the other trends I've listed here too. Uh, so new emerging communication tools and technology will change how we connect, reconnect and work together, driving even quicker communication possibilities. This hyper-connectivity will provide professional accountants with possibilities for sharing, connecting, empowering, challenging, and adding value to organizations of all sizes and sectors, virtually and instantaneously across the globe. So we also see other key drivers on this chart here, aside from technology. And uh, we believe there is a growing aspiration for people to have meaning and purpose in the careers they have particularly as we see a new generation, Gen Z, or the digital natives coming into the profession. Another key trend shaping the focus of future roles and careers in the profession surely has to be data. In the information age, we believe data possibilities will reshape the roles of professional accountants across all sectors and provide new opportunities to help businesses. And uh, these opportunities will help businesses grow and add value. So again, I'll elaborate more on this a bit later. Uh, the changing nature of teams across the profession is going to be a key development too. And more and more organizations are rightly recognizing the importance of being inclusive and having an inclusivity agenda and that real business benefits of having diverse teams uh, lie in how you manage your organization. Um, and ACCA, we always champion the benefits of diversity across profession and we will continue to do so. So we're also seeing organizations transform and all sorts of new business models emerge, which we expect to provide new career opportunities 
for professional accountants, whether as business advisors or indeed as entrepreneurs leading organizations themselves. So some really big trends that we've had a quick snapshot into uh, that are shaping the look and feel of careers in the future. Now to go into a bit more detail about accountancy careers in the 2020s, um, our latest research identified five key zones of career development uh, for professional accountants over the next decade that are directly linked to building sustainable organizations for the future. The research suggests that as careers adopt across these five areas of opportunity, this will drive the need to acquire new skills and we will continue to see new and different ways to learn and to support this change. So I also wanted to briefly mention uh, something we've produced uh, in the past few years. We've produced the ACCA Professional Quotients, which are the seven must-have capabilities needed in a changing environment as different career journeys evolve. So we believe these capabilities are more relevant than ever as we now look forward to the next decade. The quotients represent the ever-changing mix of capabilities needed by professional accountants as the profession continues to transition and as roles and career paths evolve. However, increasingly, we are noticing that uh, career paths are becoming more diverse and individuals are continuing to learn new skills and reimagine their working lives. And uh, organizations are changing, new business models are emerging, individuals are navigating their careers across these different zones. And they're, as they do that, they're gonna have to draw across different skills uh, to help them in those particular roles. So um, in this emerging world, uh, jobs in the profession are starting to become more flexible. And that's only been, COVID-19 has only been a catalyst of that. As jobs transition, new and also more amorphous career journeys in the profession are likely to arise. This doesn't necessarily suggest the end of highly specialized technical roles or traditional specialized career pathways in the profession, but it does suggest growing permeability, different stepping stones and pathways across many future roles and career journeys as we look forward. So we expect career paths to become more unique, more personal, and more diversified. And we see this as a fantastic opportunity. So uh, just uh, having a closer look into the uh, five dots we have, uh, five uh, boxes we have here, which are the five zones of future career opportunity. And uh, firstly, uh, top left, you can see we have the assurance advocate. And here we champion the role of professional accountants in providing assurance as to the sustainability of organizations. We see the rising importance of activities such as effective risk management, forward-looking and technology-driven future audit practices, as well as sound practices in internal control and regulatory adherence. So these activities are all fundamental activities to building and protecting businesses for the longer term and will continue to remain highly relevant. Assurance in its many different forms has always been at the very heart of the profession. And we can see assurance from evolving corporate governance and risk practices all the way through to building confidence in financial markets with auditing best practice and standards development. So stakeholders expect professional accountants as assurance experts to demonstrate expertise, take responsibility, act with integrity, and exercise professional judgment. One of the most significant areas of opportunity with assurance is to develop a more holistic view right across the organization and the business ecosystem as to be effective across all the different assurance activities uh, that take place. As different organization risks emerge or as new regulatory or compliance initiatives are needed, too often risk, compliance, and assurance uh, responses have often been isolated, disjointed, and inefficient. And the understanding of activities that drive organization value and assurance around these have not been visible. So uh, this status quo becomes uh, less tangible and less apparent in a marketplace which is agile, fast moving, which rewards better informed decision making and a more comprehensive understanding of the risks businesses face aligned uh, to strategy delivery. So next up, we have the uh, business transformer. And this is the secondary opportunity we see 
Um, and this is the area of opportunity where the professional accountant is the business transformer. Uh, so something quite exciting. Actually, we at the ACCA believe that accountants are at the heart of every organization. So this one resonates quite well with us. Um, here are some truly brilliant emerging opportunities for professional accountants as the business transformer. One obvious area is the rapid transformation of innovative smaller accountancy firms that are digitally transforming clients' businesses. Uh, this is the smaller accounting firm reimagined as the true business advisor. So whereas before you just have, let's say, for example, uh, Donish Shamsi Bookkeeping LLC, uh, now we see Donish Shamsi Bookkeeping LLC become a true advisory firm advising on all different areas of business. Digital transformation is reaffording uh, professional accountants the opportunity to be able to be the actual trusted small business advisors, changing the nature of client relationships from traditional accounting advice to broader business advice work. Another key area of opportunity here is advisory and consultancy, particularly driven by technological innovation and economic growth. The proportion of revenues the large accounting firms continue to earn from consulting and advisory services continues to grow. Recently reported a, uh, so we recently worked with Gartner and reported a um, global consulting market, which is growing by 9% year on year to $188 billion. So there's a lot of space for uh, you as prospective accountants or current firms in the profession uh, to, to, to capitalize on this. Uh, and we're noticing that professional service firms continue to see um, as they seek to differentiate, they will look to transform their business models and involve new service lines in the face of rapid client transformation. But we also see more and more of our members leading and growing smaller businesses as digital platforms open the door to new commercial opportunities. This is afforded by a growing global middle-class customer base, the explosion of social networks, that drive faster connectivity, scalable, cheap, agile technology, prize innovation, rising entrepreneurial ambitions, and better access to finance and network capital. This disruptive and transformative environment that will shape and provide new career opportunities for professional accountants with entrepreneurial leadership ambitions as business models rapidly transform and new ways of creating long-term sustainable value are found. So third on the list, uh, we have the uh, data navigator. And uh, the third area of opportunity we see is uh, on the top right, the data navigator, and he is the true business partner. Uh, I mentioned before that how data possibilities will reshape the roles of professional accountants. Uh, we expect growing areas of opportunity for professional accountants as business partners and analysts using growing multi-rich data sets to better inform strategic decision-making and forward-looking insight that help support and sustain businesses for the future as data use becomes a source for, of competitive advantage. So we have big data as a key driver of organizational, of organizational change uh, over here. Uh, organization data sets are growing exponentially with the rise of big data and data lakes and the growth of structured, unstructured, internal, external, financial and operational data driven by the internet of things and other emerging data sources. We are also noticing increasingly uh, that data shifts fundamentally from being big to being smart as these emerging technologies mine information differently. Uh, it puts the information, um, sorry, it puts the professional accountants as the data navigator, uh, threading the organization narrative much more holistically and bringing insight to decision-making much more effectively. The digital playmaker. Uh, this is where we foresee the finance professional being uh, the uh, technology evangelist. And uh, we know that technology transformation is key to driving sustainable organizational growth. Uh, however, professional accountants still have a real opportunity to champion technology and finance team and across the wider business. As technology changes, uh, they will have new opportunities to develop deeper digital uh, expertise or support technology implementation and change programs. There are also key emerging opportunities to advocate and lead strong data governance across organizations where the benefits of technology investment can be maximized. 
So as digital playmakers, we expect professional accountants to play a key role in looking for opportunities to help drive business efficiencies and champion the automation agenda. You can play a growing role in aligning finance automation strategies to wider digital transformation initiatives. So essentially being the one who champions technologies within the organization. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we really believe that um, accountants and finance professionals are at the heart of every organization. And we also believe that the finance profession is at the forefront of uh, uh, an organization's digital transformation. Uh, so last but not least, and this is very important to us, uh, we have the uh, sustainability trailblazer. Um, this is the professional accountant at the heart of performance management in the organization. Here, they will play a future key role in establishing reporting frameworks that capture, evaluate, and report on the activities that truly drive value in ways that are more meaningful and transparent to the outside world, building on their core financial expertise, but advocating for and delivering wide disclosures. Right, so um, you are probably at the beginning of your degree or thinking about a career in finance and you're thinking, what does all this information mean, mean for my career? Um, and there are many implications from this research. Um, and uh, what we've learned is we've learned 10 things, which I've highlighted over here, and that's to be adoptable. So it's important to have a flexible approach to career developments as the world of work transitions. So you have to be able to learn how to adapt. Uh, it's the most important one, in my opinion. Uh, get tech. So technology will increasingly shape future roles in the profession. And it's very important uh, to become increasingly familiar with digital development and understand new technologies which are changing the market. Um, you might have heard the saying, no risk, no reward. So number three, we have take risks. So with more variation in career paths and less certain next job roles, uh, sometimes it's important to, important to think laterally about your job moves in your career. Um, so your next move in your career might not always be the most obvious one. This falls in line with being able to adapt, but we have uh, being prepared to uh, relearn, which is number four. Uh, continuously learning new skills and is, is, is an essential component of navigating this new world of careers. Uh, this helps ensure skills remain relevant and competence is enduring. And what we do as the, ACCA, as the ACCA is we offer our members and future members a whole wide of uh, certificates which they can complete to assist in their uh, continuous uh, learning. Uh, so work your brand. Technology is making a significant difference to how organizations recruit and how candidates can identify and seek out new opportunities. So utilize LinkedIn however much you can. You should also reach out. So the future world of work is collaborative. So don't be afraid to ask for help. It's important as professional accountants and as prospective uh, finance professionals that you build and you maintain strong relationship skills and you recognize the importance of working together uh, to solve business problems and, uh, and, and, and overcome um, obstacles. Uh, number seven is learn data. So data will be the heart of many future roles in the profession. So you shouldn't be expected to become data scientists, but you will be expected to have a strong grasp of data and how to use it across so many different roles. Find sponsors. So as five generations will be in the future workforce, there are all, there are all sorts of opportunities to learn from each other. Finding sponsors is one key way in which careers can be supported. Learning from others, uh, collaboratively is increasingly important. So make sure you reach out and find sponsors. You should also be rethinking your CV. Presenting skills and demonstrating relevance and competence in this emerging world is even more important. So a collection of job titles isn't enough. Similarly, a collection of letters after your name, whether that's ACCA, CFA, or SEMA, also isn't enough. And you should be able to be savvy and uh, articulate your thoughts and present them in an equal manner as well. And last but not least, uh, do what you love. So there's no substitute for passion and there are some great emerging opportunities in the profession to pursue careers that are meaningful and value adding as the work of, as the world of work transforms. So I want to wrap up uh, just briefly by giving some considerations to the implications uh, for organizations that employ professional accountants uh, in the future from our research 
and uh, talk a bit about these. Um, so while we know that technology developments in particular will reshape the profession as we look forward, access to highly qualified employees with the right skills in a world of constant disruption will remain vitally important. So what are some of the things uh, organizations should be thinking about when it comes to their people? And uh, they're listed over here. Does our organization have a clear purpose and is this communicated? Do we sufficiently promote internal collaboration? Sorry, number two was, are career paths in the organization fit for purpose? Do we sufficiently promote internal co collaboration? How do we support the learning of employees? Can we harness the power of different generations in the workplace? How do we position technology as an opportunity for the workforce? And how can we leverage the power of inclusivity? So these are all things that organizations in this fast moving work environment will be considering. And thank you for taking the time to listen to me. It was a real pleasure. Um, I think Meg will be opening up for questions just about now. So uh, please feel free to drop them in the chat box. Thank you very much, Danish. Um, that was extremely informative and uh, a lot of uh, lovely insights uh, about the future of accountancy. I'm sure we all really enjoyed that. So thank you very much. Um, so audience, if you have any questions, uh, you can just type them on the Q&A box in the chat box and we'll be happy to answer them. Madhavi, if you have anything to add, please go ahead. Yeah, I just want to ask uh, Danish, uh, with regard to all the developments, I think you have touched so many of those, that is especially analytics and softwares and so on. I just want to know, can you tell us the content related to three different things which I'm talking about. One is there is a lot of opportunity in the SME sector. And in, in terms of the numbers, 97% of the UAE companies are supposed to be in SME. And uh, another is of course, uh, empathy, that is people centricism. And uh, you already mentioned about integrity, so related to ethics. So I just want to know, does the ACCA content relate to these three, SMEs, uh, empathy and ethics? Sure, uh, good question, right. So our syllabus is very heavily driven by ethics. Um, you cannot become an ACCA member unless you have completed the ethics and professional skills module. Um, we like to think that it's at the core of what every accountant um, does and, and is responsible for. Um, regarding SMEs, uh, I, this, is a, this is a huge, uh, it, they make up a huge portion of the UAE's economy, right? Like you rightly mentioned. Um, and I, I, I believe one of the reasons we had, uh, you know, the, the, um, the shortfall in economic activity a few years ago was because the SME sector was struggling as well. Um, we obviously, in our syllabus, we do cover, um, you know, in, in, in the P levels and the, and the F level papers, we do cover um, bookkeeping for smaller businesses and, I think more importantly, what we do as an organization is um, our members are supported in their uh, continuous learning. So we do a lot of work around um, small to medium sized practices. So not only enterprises, but also accountancy practices. You know, they could be a um, family company with five employees and, and one partner. Um, we do a lot of work in terms of knowledge sharing, uh, knowledge transfer. Uh, we connect them with technology partners. So we also support them aside from providing um, students with that knowledge. We also have the capacity to support them as well. And I think the last one you said was empathy. Uh, can you elaborate on that a bit more, please? Uh, people centricity. People centricity, right. Okay, so um, yeah, can you, can, can you elaborate on that? So uh, when you're talking about, you know, uh, especially the recent developments, we are very much focused on the analytics and we are focused on the IT systems and so on. But then the responsiveness, ultimately we have to realize that whatever we're doing, it's for the human welfare and it's for the human growth and it's for realizing the, you know, the human aspirations. So uh, while we are, uh, you know, advising the youngsters, then how do we also ensure that they remain empathic and understand the bigger picture in terms of the contribution to the humanity and not just about the systems and analytics and so on. 
Yeah, that's that's a really good question. Uh, and um, so um, being a professional accountant, you know, you do have to have a certain technical grasp of uh, of, of the subject matter. Um, but it's equally important for professionals to have emotional intelligence, right? And I think this is and this is a good message for everybody who's interested in studying finance is, is that yes, you know, knowledge is, is great, technical grasp and know-how is great, but you also have to have uh, what we like to call EQ, which is emotional intelligence. And um, although this, this is not something that's covered in our syllabus as such, we, we, we do cover it in the ethics and professional skills module but the exam papers themselves don't cover this in too much detail. Um, we do focus on what we like to call, and I, thought, and I, and I, and I touched on this in the presentation, was uh, the seven quotients of a professional accountant, right? And that's things like emotional intelligence, being able to be creative, uh, being able to uh, think uh, about things uh, digitally, uh, but not only thinking about um, you know, problems and solutions through the, um, lens of an accountant working for a business, but how accountants uh, contribute to a, you know, a sustainable economy and a sustainable future. And uh, that's something we do a lot of research on, um, you know, how, how can accountants be ethical? How can they be responsible? How can they uh, make the right decisions which lead to sustainable organizations? So uh, yeah, it's all part of the continuous learning that we have. Uh, we are a not-for-profit, so uh, don't feel that if you're not a member, you don't have access to this information. Uh, it's all available on our website. We give everything for free. Um, so please feel free to get to uh, give it a read. Great to know. Uh, I just want to add about something that we do. In fact, uh, when you were presenting about the trends and you said that, you know, there is no clear path and then you have to look at a combination of things and not just, you know, specialization in a particular area only. I'm glad to share with you that we have actually what we call as a career spine units. So we have three subjects related to it. And we, you know, the, the students, in fact, start off with it. It's our philosophy is that the placements or careers, thinking about what is what is the job that I would like to do, what is the occupation, it's not something which starts at the end. Because earlier, you know, the last term or the last year, they would think of, oh my God, I'm finishing my you know, studies and now I have to go to a job, so I have to search for a job. But instead of that, we start off actually in initially itself so that the awareness with regard to the, the exploration of the person, the person's interest and personality, understanding of the external trends, identifying broad areas which are uh, of interest to the individual, and also looking at these combinations. So we do tell them to come up with, you know, different areas and how they can, uh, you know, synergize these different areas. We do have students being very creative in that, you know, and they think about totally different uh, aspects and how they can uh, uh, create, in fact, a future for themselves, which is probably not their out now in terms of the job. So we're very glad to you know, say that we are already training our students in that. And probably uh, we would also like you to you know, interact with the students once to know about their views and how they are looking at the future and what kind of rules they want to take up and so on. That would be great. Yeah, yeah no, that, that's, that's, that's really cool. I wish we had that when I was in university 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, that's, 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 that's great. And you know what, the, the, the generation coming into the workforce right now are so lucky. Um, you you have so much information and knowledge at your fingertips. Things are evolving at such a fast pace. Uh, you know, so the 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 uh, the work life balance, for example, is 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 so much better now than it was seven, eight, nine years ago. Uh, and things are evolving so quickly. So um, what I can do is I can share the presentation. Um, I think particularly the five zones of future and the uh, twenty areas where we see accountants growing, um, I think that could be pretty useful in, 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 in terms of, you know, using it as just so maybe a few notes if you decide to, you know, finish your degree and um, apply for jobs and, you know, navigating your career. Um, yeah, great. Thanks for sharing, Madhavi. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, I think we I don't see a lot of questions. So does anyone have any more questions? Please feel free to ask. Um, or just... uh, this could be a question, not only about the presentation, about uh, what sort of uh, career trajectory you can foresee to have if you decide to study the ACCA or go through the, um, the bachelor's in accounting program with uh, Murdoch um, to things like, you know, what does 
what 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 are some of the stranger rules that accountants, professional accountants have or 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 do? So any question at all, feel free to ask. Uh, I had a question actually as well, uh, while you know uh, some other questions come up. Uh, so I was just wondering if you could share a little bit more about the accelerate bit. Uh, how does that work? Like, uh, so as far as I understand, I think students can uh, they get exemptions, but they can also do the uh, other uh, remaining papers at the same time. Or if you could uh, share a little bit more about that program. Yep. So um, the first step is for Murdoch University to be accredited. Uh, we'll then register you for ACC Accelerate. Um, I believe you'll have nine exemptions. What that means to everybody listening is, and this is great, by the way, um, is if you uh, enroll into the Bachelor's of Accounting program at Murdoch and um, Murdoch is under Accelerate and is, is accredited, that means the first nine papers of the ACCA qualification, you will be exempted from taking, uh, which is which is just a good bulk of them. Um, now, to some exceptional students, and also based on the level of accreditation, um, you will also be able to um, um, complete your ACCA qualification by the time you leave university which means that after you graduate, you will be an ACC affiliate. So I'll explain it in, 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 in a bit more detail. So just it's a bit more clear. So um, you have an ACCA student who's currently studying for the and taking the ACCA exams. Once you complete all those exams and complete the ethics module, you then become an ACCA affiliate. Uh, you then need to do 36 months of professional work experience to become an ACCA member. So the opportunity to become an ACCA affiliate right after you leave university uh, and only having to do 36 months of work to then become a member is, is extremely great. And especially, you know, being in the UAE and having three years of work experience and being an ACCA member would be seen as really attractive in a lot of employers' eyes. Um, so Accelerate's very exciting. Uh, you know, we really hope uh, that uh, Murdoch University will enroll and uh, uh, we'll provide all the information to every student. Um, you know, it's, it's not too complicated. Um, we can register the students ourselves as well. So there's no need for you to uh, do anything uh, on your end. Uh, so we can do all the heavy lifting for you. Thank you. Thank you, Vanish, for sharing that. Um... Any other questions, Madhavi, or anything else that we would like to discuss? Uh, you're on mute. Madhavi, you're on mute. <laughs> yeah, I said we would definitely invite you for a career just fine, uh, you know, class where the students will come up with their own ideas of this, uh, you know, combine, combining different occupations with accounting. Maybe we could even run a small contest kind of a thing an activity where they can do something about accounting and other units or other areas which they're interested in. Because today you have environmental accounting, people accounting. I mean, everything has to be accounted for. So mm -hmm. I think something which we will definitely look forward to doing with our students. Absolutely. Thank you, so much. thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madhvi. Thank you, Vanish, for uh, taking out the time here. Uh, we would very soon have the recording available on YouTube as well, so you can have a look at uh, it once again. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, Meghala. Bye.